Alright, so today I'm going to show you how you can add McMaster car components into Fusion 360. And what that basically means is you can add real life screws, nuts, bolts, brackets, all that stuff that you would find at McMaster car components. You can add the models directly into Fusion 360 so that you don't have to model them yourself. And remember a while ago I did that um, threading tutorial where we created a nut and a bolt and I wanted to show you how to do motion links and things like that. Well this is that easier way that I mentioned in that video. So it's super simple, I'm going to show you how to do it. So once you've got a project set up like this, all you want to do is come up to insert here on the menu and make sure you're on the solid tab. So you want to insert and come down you'll see insert master car component. You want to click that and you'll see what this does is it brings up a menu and you've got access to all these different categories of hardware that you can get CAD models for. So let's say for example we wanted to we were modeling some part and we had a specific hole diameter and we wanted to add a screw in or a bolt or something like that. So we're going to go here to screws and bolts and then once again you've got a bunch of different options here. But if you make this uh, window a little bigger just by dragging it out you can see that on the left we can filter by all these different sort of categories we can select you know aluminium nickel plastic I know in CAD that doesn't matter too much because you're just modeling it anyway but it's there you know if you want if you want to go that detailed so if we come down we can filter by length head type as well so we're going to do that let's try a uh, what well, we got a flat head here so let's go for a flat head screw and if we click that you can see we can select the different drive styles as well so if we wanted to go for Phillips, let's click on that one. And you can see it's just filtering it down as you'd expect. So we're going to click here, flathead screws. And again, we've got a bunch of different options. I'm just going to select the first one just to show you. And once we, can, once we select it, you can see it gives you all the information you'd want. And if you scroll down a bit, you can see there's all these different part numbers. And, you know, these are things you can actually buy and order. And you can see here on the right, they have their prices with them and the minimum quantity of ordering and things like that. So I'm just going to select one to show you how you can get the 3D model. So if we select just this one, for example, notice it's asking you here to order the part. But if there's a little button here called product detail, and that's what we want to click on to get access to the CAD models. So once we've clicked that, we can scroll down and you can see at the bottom it says, the information in this 3D model is provided for reference only and you can click the drop down and it allows you to choose what format you want. Now we're just going to go for a step file for Fusion 360 because it can work with those. So we're going to select that and then hit save and watch what happens. So it's imported that model provided by McMaster Car straight into our workspace and it's added it in as its own component and if we hit OK on the menu here on the right we can now you know do do with this what we please and if we already had an existing model you can use um, joints and bring all these things together to create a finalized model and then you know you'd be able to 3d print your model order the actual parts knowing that they all fit because you've modeled it and you'd be able to successfully design something and this is awesome you know and Again, this truly shows how useful CAD can be, especially for your 3D printing projects. Before you go, I launched my Fusion 360 course last week. It's now out. I've had a few students enroll on it. If you're interested, I'll leave a link in the description below. That's it for this one. I'll see you on the next one.